It's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max here in our Borderlands 3 video and today we're talking about one of the best and one of my new personal favorite weapons from this DLC, the proprietary license. This is a new Hyperion SMG. Hyperion SMGs have been in the past quite strong. This one is no slouch in damage and it's a little bit more of a difficult farm uh, to find and get to, so today I'm going to be walking you guys uh, there, showing you guys how to farm this weapon because it took me a second to figure out, and talking about the best anointments, rolls, and everything that this weapon does. Now, if you want to farm this weapon for yourself, you're going to be coming over to Obsidian Forest, uh, the Crone's Contentment spawn, and working your way up to the left to get to the Hydra Goen. Y'all are going to make fun of my pronunciation. I already know. I'm sorry. I probably pronounced that wrong. But this weapon is a new Hyperion SMG that rivals the Kyozin, in my opinion, and is quite similar because it does splash damage. Um, the Kyozin, however, for example, when you shoot it, you're going to see it splash projectiles. This weapon... When you shoot it, uh, you're not going to see those splash projectiles unless they're actually hitting an enemy. So only when you hit an enemy with this thing are you going to be getting that damage. Now another interesting thing about this weapon, it is only burst fire. Uh, there is no other option besides burst fire. And when you click the trigger and hold it, one burst. But if you tap it very, very quickly, you basically make this thing into a full auto weapon. Uh, to get to this enemy, by the way, uh, just keep following this little blood, blood path, and you will get there uh, after this jump pad. Now, this thing on all Vault Hunters is very strong because its DPS output, along with its fire rate and its ability to do splash damage, is quite strong. By the way, you're going to want to, when you get here, you've got all these Bellics. You're going to want to kill them all um, or wait because the, uh, the enemy that we're farming doesn't spawn for a little bit, as you can see. Um, pretty ridiculous damage on this thing. That was 235 mil. Um, and... Looks like he either didn't spawn or hasn't spawned yet. But as you can see, we get those splash projectiles. Looks like we're going to need to go again. I've been farming this thing uh, a lot. The ones that I've gotten have been world drops. So this is a little bit more of a difficult farm. A lot of the th weapons in this DLC, you're almost getting every kill. But this weapon, so far for me, I've been farming it for a little bit of a while. It is more difficult than some of the other weapons. But I promise you guys, it is going to be worth it. Now, while we're running back, I'm going to show some gameplay of this thing. Now, with my new Amara build that I may or may not have published by now, we'll see. Um, this thing slaps. And my ideal anointment and the one anointment that I would be going for with this weapon, uh, by the way, comes in all elements, would be consecutive hits. Um, consecutive hits is going to be really strong on this thing because of the double dipping in damage procs where basically for one shot you're going to be doing multiple instances of damage and with the consecutive hits uh it's going to be really strong however uh for instant damage 100 ase is going to be really strong um next to mags is going to be great it's got a really high magazine size we got some of our, our bellics here and as you can see uh we're going to get those projectiles they're 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 a little bit delayed, but um, when they do hit, uh, they kill basically everything. Looks like we're gonna go again. Um, I couldn't tell. I, I this enemy might be a rare spawn. Sometimes it doesn't show up, which is odd. But once again, this weapon is worth farming. I'll probably just cut to a uh, a clip of it dropping it for me right now. If I ever get it. <laughs> hey, look. We got one. Nice. Got a fire one with accuracy. Just my luck. Um, but yeah, guys, if you want to get this weapon, um, may take 
a few more tries than the other weapons, but I promise it is worth it. This thing does a crap ton of damage and definitely going to be up there with uh, the best weapons in this new DLC, in my opinion. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace!